Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, um, this is going to be the last part of my makeup collection, storage, whatever video. <laughs> um, this one is just all of my single eye products, so like glitters, toppers, like single eyeshadows. Yeah. So, it, I don't think it'll be too long because this is like a smaller part of my collection. I don't usually buy many of these things. Actually, most of this is probably from BoxyCharms or like Sephora favorite sets or something. So, that's why I have this many, but <laughs> yeah. And I can't really show it to you as I have it stored in my collection because well, you'll see in the final video, um, this is kind of like behind something else. So yeah, I just pulled everything out and I'll show it to you like this. So yeah, and my nails are a monstrosity. So please try to ignore them. <laughs> um, so let's just start. Um, yeah, this is not really organized at all either. So maybe I can reorganize this after but I'll just pull random things so this first thing here is actually basically a mini palette um this is a Smashbox uh what were they calling these photo edit eyeshadow trio this is the shade nudie pick fair because I think there's actually a nudie pick deep something like that like the same kind of idea but a deeper version this is actually one of my favorite little eyeshadow trios. It was actually in one, I think like my first favorites video that I ever did on my channel. Um, I really just love how these colors look together. And um, this is more like cool tone than what I usually wear, but I really like this. It just works and it's really easy to apply. So yeah, I really liked these. They seem to be really good quality, so I don't know if they still make them, but yeah, this is the only one that I have in my collection. Um, so then I have, these are more like cream shadows. This <laughs> is so old. I actually haven't opened this in a while. Let's see if it's still, if it's still good. This is a creaseless cream shadow slash liner from Benefit. These don't even exist anymore. I'm pretty sure, but that's what the packaging was. And let's see, this is what it looks like. So it's a really nice like taupey champagne shade, I guess. Um, this was the shade RSVP. I'm pretty sure this is dry. <laughs> I don't know though, look. That's what it looks like. Okay, it felt dry at first, but I think once you work it in, it's okay. Oh, I don't know. That still looks really nice to me. Um, yeah, so that was this. <laughs> That's probably one of the oldest products in my collection, to be honest. But now, like, those things are back in style, I guess. So, yeah, maybe I'll... I should get some more use out of it. Um, then I have two Tarte Chrome paint pots. These things here. These were, like, some of the first products to come out in this kind of style. Like a cream shadow in a pot and everyone was like obsessed um this one is the shade fire dancer so it's like a cranberry shade oh my god look at that oh why do i not use these more look at this that's so pretty oh my god it just keeps going <laughs> um i think I bought these when they first launched, but I believe now they come with like a a lid on top. I'm pretty sure. Because I think this one, this is a shade Steal the Show. I'm sure. 
Okay, maybe not. I was sure that they came with a lid, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. Um, because these, like, as you saw, like, it looks like a cream, but I don't know. It's kind of, it's a weird texture. Like, when you touch it, it feels like a cream, but it looks like it's just packed. See what I mean? Like, it's packed pigment. That's what this one looks like. It's like a like a gunmetal, but more blue, kind of. I think I used this in a video. Um, so I have two of those, and luckily they haven't dried out from what I see here. Um, I'm gonna need <laughs> to wipe this off, though. This one is a powder. This is the Makeup Forever Star Powder in the shade, I have no idea. I think this might be a sample um, because there's no name on it. And I also don't think I've ever used this before. But it's like a gold um, shimmer. So yeah, <laughs> I should use it. And this one is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Um, this is a brand like I've only ever seen at um, like Winners and Marshalls and places like that. But I, I think they sell this, I believe it's Look Fantastic or like Ulta or something. I don't know. I'll try to link everything below, but um, this is like a loose powder that I actually got in a kit with a blush and like a powder foundation but I passed them on that looks really like um subtle so yeah I don't know how much use I would get out of this probably it would be better with um like a dampened brush or something because it feels like pretty powdery but also very finely milled so I don't know, yeah. That one might get decluttered at some point. I have another one of these kind of like pot things. This is the um, Marc Jacobs Glam Glitter Eyeshadow. Wow, that's hard to see. The sequins ones um, in the shade Pop Rocks. I think these were a limited edition for a holiday collection. Okay, this is the one that has like um, this kind of stopper on top because while it feels like a cream, like when you swatch it, it's a loose pigment. It's basically the same thing as the Tarte ones, but this one feels maybe more gritty, but that might be because there's glitter in it. Wow, that is really pretty. <laughs> I've only worn this like once. I actually wore it for New Year's, not last, not this past one because obviously nothing happened, but um, the one before. I don't know if you can see like all the different color of glitter in there. It's really pretty. And actually now that I swatch it, it feels very similar to the Tarte ones. It just felt like a more, um, like a looser texture, which is why they have this in them. So that like every time you close it, you press it down and it doesn't like make a mess everywhere. Yeah, that was that one. I guess this is also kind of a similar thing. This is the um, Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foil Pigment. Yeah, this one also has this little plastic thing. Look at that. This is beautiful. I think it's called Sun Aurora. Uh, yes, yeah, Sun Aurora. And I'm pretty sure on Sephora, they describe this as like a green apple shift or something like that. So it's like a gold green shift and it's beautiful. I don't know if they still make these because I saw them on sale, but let's see. 
that's what that looks like. Look at this. See how it's like, it shifts. Really pretty. This is like a really nice um, summer, like one shadow look I feel, which is why I haven't used it in a while because it's very summery to me. People love those um, metalist things. I considered buying other shades, but because I barely use this one, <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Because I never really reach for these products. I tend to reach for palettes because I like the idea of creating like a full look. And these ones, I don't know. Yeah, I have to use them more. Uh, these two came in a boxy charm. They're by Ace Beauté. I have the shade um, Cotton Candy and Ice Latte. These are their glimmer shadows, but I think you can tell they're kind of like dupes for ColourPop um, Super Shock shadows. But look at the printing, it's so pretty. I haven't even swatched these yet, but it has little hearts, if you can see. Should I swatch this? I swatch like everything else at this point. <laughs> so that's what Ice Latte looks like. Ooh. Yeah, these look and feel like Super Shock shadows. I only have two, so I can't really, I'm not like the authority on that, but from what I can tell, it's like pretty much the same thing. This one is the shade Cotton Candy. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna have to make it a point to bring in at least one of these um, kind of like pot shadows into my shop my stash because I think I'm missing out on a lot of things here. <laughs> These two things here that are still in the box are my glitterly obsessed body glitters from Colourpop and Sailor Moon collection collab obviously. Um, this one is the shade Moonlight Legend. I think this one has moons. That's what the top looks like. I love it so much. Is this the one? Oh no, this isn't the one with the moons, but it's basically like just really chunky glitter in a gel kind of base. And they call these body glitters because they don't want you to put them near your eyes and then your eyes get all cut up and then you try and sue them. <laughs> but obviously, People are putting these around their eyes because no one's wearing body glitter. I mean, unless you're going to like a music festival, but those don't exist anymore. <laughs> At least not where I live. So yeah, um, I don't know when I'm gonna use these, but I like that I have them. And should I? I'm not gonna swatch them because they will be all over the place for the rest of this video. But I'm pretty sure I've actually already shown you these on my channel. Um, this one is the one with moons in it. Moons and stars. If you can tell, that looks really pretty. I just don't have any occasion to use things like this. This one is um, Moon Prism Power. Love it. So now let's just go to these things. These are the um, Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. I actually have two more of these, but they're in my shop, my stash. Um, so these are like a metallic shadow on one side a liquid and on the other side it's more like a chunky glitter topper and you're supposed to like kind of layer them um i can see that they're getting dry at least on this side so that's why i'm trying to get use out of them but again these are really things like this is not something you would throw on to like go to the groceries <laughs> so i don't know i'll just have to like 
play with them, I guess. But um, these are, what are these shades? This one is Eldora. It's like a nice bronzy one. This purpley one is called Lottie. This like cranberry one is called Adelio. And this mm, like rose gold kind of one or like coppery is Margaret. So again, I need to use these. Um, and they say like to apply this part because it can get kind of messy, the glittery side. You put it on your hand first. So I can show you one of them. It's like a spatula. So yeah, it's kind of like a lot of work to use these, which I think is why I don't tend to reach for them. But I got them all in like a pack. So, so you put it like on your hand, you swipe it with this, and then you're supposed to tap it and then put it on your eye. Like the, the set came with like a whole instruction booklet. <laughs> so yeah, that's those things. Oh, I also have some gel liners in here. Um, I have the one from Kylie, which I got like with the brush and everything. It's just a black gel liner. And I have this one from Tarte, which is in the shade Bronze. It's a very deep bronze though. Let's look at this. Ooh, it's still very creamy. Yeah, that is that is very deep for being called bronze, but um, yeah. There's that. Um, and then these are like glitter, uh, more glitter toppers, basically. Um, another one from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea, sea Glass. I actually really like this. I've used it before. It's just like, you know, like this Stila um, glitter and glows or whatever those were called. So I have this one in the shade Sweet Life. It's really pretty. Um, this one is by Cover FX. I don't think I've used this one yet. Um, and I believe it came in a boxy charm. These are called Shimmer Veils. What shade is this? Amethyst. It's like a lavender lilac-y color. And then I have this one from Violet Voss. It's like a coppery one in the shade Dream. And this one is just a little sample like perk from Sephora. It's the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. Yeah, that's what I was trying to remember <laughs> before. In the shade Kitten Karma. I don't know. let's see if this is even still usable because these ones are notorious for drying out before you can actually like use them all. Yeah, that's getting very dry, but it's really pretty. Then I have some more like eyeshadow, single eyeshadows. This is a L'Oreal Color Infallible iridescent finish in flashback silver. I bought this because it was on clearance at the drugstore, but it looks really pretty and I never use it. Oh, it feels nice. Yeah, this one is more subtle and not as like shiny as the other ones. But I did pay like less than $5 for this, so yeah. This is um, one of the oldest things in my collection and it's really like a collector's item. Probably never gonna get rid of it. It's the Urban Decay Shadow Deluxe Eyeshadow in the shade Peace. And the color is not unique to my collection. It's just one of these like turquoise blues but the packaging is 
so cool it's very like 90s to me and i never want to get rid of it it has like a little button here that you open and there's a mirror inside so yeah i'm probably never getting rid of this but <laughs> i never use this eyeshadow because um this color is like in a lot of palettes these days so i never need to reach for this one separately um and this one came in a sephora favorite set it's like an og product that everyone loves it's the urban decay half baked shadow i think this shade is in the original naked palette if i'm remembering correctly i never owned that palette because I only started wearing makeup a few years ago and that palette's like even before my time <laughs> so yeah it's just like a nice bronzy shade and then this is a little sample of the Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint in the shade M56 um, I, I don't really know if I'm going to keep this, to be honest, because when am I going to use this? And is it even still usable? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I actually really like that color. It's like a cool brown shade. Um, so these you can use like as eyeliners or shadow base or like anything like that. I think they're waterproof, if I remember correctly. I think that's why they're in like the aqua line. Everything in that line seems to be waterproof, so I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that's just like a little sample from Sephora. It already dried down, like super dry. It's not sticky or tacky at all. So maybe I could use this more. So along the same lines, um, I have two like liquid matte eyeshadows so this one you guys might have seen in my last video it's the Rare Beauty um, Nearly Apricot Liquid Eyeshadow looks like this so these ones you this one it said to apply a dot and then like blend it but I found I needed Way more than a dot like it wasn't very pigmented um, but I kind of like that also because it was easy to use that was this one so you just apply it with the applicator and it's super easy to blend and it actually lasted a really long time so I'm pretty impressed with these and I like this shade this one I bought before that, but I never used it yet. It's the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Chocolate Chai. So it's like a nice warm brown. I heard these are really good, but again, I don't reach for anything in these drawers. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. This one seems to be a lot more pigmented than the other one. So with this one, I probably would start with the dot because it's like a deep shade as well. But that's what that looks like. Um, then we just have one more drawer. Oops. So this is a MAC paint pot, right? Yeah, Pro Longwear paint pot in the shade Indian Wood. I remember I bought this because of Jessica Braun. She was always saying like this is one of her favorites. It's like, how would you describe this? Like a antique gold? That's what it looks like. It feels really pretty. Yeah, this could be like another one shadow look for me. Um, looks like this. This one is a Artist Couture Spotlight Glitz, or is that the name? Okay, no, I think I do this every time. This is a Diamond Lights Finisher in the shade Spotlight Glitz. 
I'm pretty sure I used this once, yeah. And I really liked it. It this is a loose one though, so you have to be careful. It's very shiny and glittery, if you can see. So this one I would use as a topper. Um because it kind of needs like something to stick down to. But yeah. And this is a mini one. Um, then I just put my two Kaja uh, bento box things in here because they were too small to put in my eyeshadow drawers. But I have this one in the shade Toasted Caramel, which you probably saw in past videos because it used to be in my Shop My Stash. These are the shades. These were when they were only making them where it's a sh um where every shade is a shimmer um, but then they started making these ones this one is in the shade poppy champagne and they added matte shadows so the f this is like a nice shimmery yellow gold and then these are mattes like that this one is really pretty for spring and summer Here's a super ancient uh, Benefit product. A lot of these Benefit products that you haven't seen is because I bought them years ago. I like, I don't know what came over me, but one day I just went to the Bay, which is like a department store. Um, and I just bought a whole bunch of Benefit products because <laughs> they used to sell them in the department store, but now it's more like, at Sephora or in drugstores around here. So I have a lot of these old, really old Benefit products, but they're still good. Um, this one I was keeping because it's just a matte cream shade, like super boring. But um, I liked it for setting my, setting my eyelids before going in with the other shadows and like just brightening up like the brow bone and things like that. But now like I have a lot of palettes that come with shades that are similar. So I don't always reach for this one, but it's, it's really like finely milled and soft and just like a nice brightening shadow. So yeah, I keep this one. This Makeup for Everyone, I actually don't know what it's called because my cousin gave this to me and she told me like she had just put it in like a package. So the name on the bottom is not actually the name of this shade. Anyway, <laughs> but it's like a really deep metallic blue, like so. I actually think I have this shade already it's very similar to a shade in the makeup forever palette that they came out with for holiday one year the big chunky one so i actually might pass this on because i'm not reaching for it and i already have a very similar shade from the same brand so plus i don't know what it's called so if i use it in a video i won't know what to say <laughs> so yeah that was a makeup forever one and i'm pretty sure they don't even make these anymore because they have like the square ones now so yeah and then these last three i got from influencer in a vdl box with like the foundation and all kinds of stuff and these are called the expert color eye books this one is the shade Moss. Looks like this. These are very like subtle. But that's a nice like taupey green. I mean not really green. Maybe like a hint of green. <laughs> this one is the shade Cranberry. But again, it's very soft because BDL is a Korean brand and Korean eyeshadows are not like super pigmented, like 
um, what do you, like pressed pigments. They're very into like a soft wash of color look. So that's why I think these are more subtle like that. This one is golden olive. Yeah, this is the one that's more green. But the shimmer ones are really pretty. I, this one I actually really ended up liking um, to use as like a one shadow look. So yeah, that was it. So I'll try to put these back in like some kind of organized fashion. Okay, so this is what I did. Um, I just put all my liquid shadows in here and my two gel liners. If you can see that better. <clears throat> then this one is like powder shadows. And then this one I just put my Glitterly Obsessed and these two things. And then this one is like my pot cream whatever shadows and I actually am also going to declutter this one because it doesn't fit anywhere nicely and I just like after comparing it to everything else this one feels very like what's the word underwhelming so I will pass this one on and it's not a very unique color anyway um, so yeah, that was all of my little shadow products. I hope you liked this video. And now that I've shown you everything, I can film like my whole like vanity tour. So that will be coming. If that's something you want to see, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, give it a like. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.